Hello, this is Dr. Gay. I'm the owner of First Look MRI, and today I want to talk about MRI and CT. What is the difference? Because the, probably the most commonly asked question I get is, what is the difference between these modalities? And by clinicians, the most common question I get is, what should I order, MRI or CT? And the truth is that I struggle myself to know what the difference is. And so I'm going to clear up a little bit of the confusion here and tell you about the basics of uh, MRI and the basics of CT. So one confusing thing is that they look pretty similar at first glance. If you look at this picture here, this is a CT scanner, and it's kind of like an MRI scanner. An MRI has a tube like this, and the patient goes in the tube, and it has a table that looks really similar. So if you look straight on, they look very, very similar. But this is a side view, and you can see from the side view that this is very shallow, not very um, long from front to back, and also the hole where the tube is really wide. So MRI has a much narrower tube often, and it has a much more long um, hole that the patient goes into. Another thing about CT is it's really quick. You can scan a patient just in a few seconds sometimes. And MRI, the body goes into the hole and the patient lays there for a while, sometimes 30 or 40 minutes before they're done. So I'm going to go to another view here. This is the basics of physics for CT. So CT is very similar. CT is just an x-ray. That's all it is. It's a beam of x-rays. and they are spun around the edge here. So there's a, um, a beam that shoots out the x-ray and there's a detector on the other side that spins around really fast around here. And in the olden days, you used to have just one beam and one collecting device, but now they have multiple ones. And so with the advent of multiple um, detectors, the scanners have gotten faster and faster and the image quality better and better and the radiation dose has gone down and down. So it's been really amazing the progress in CT but it really is just an x-ray. And so an x-ray beam is generated by this. You have a cathode and it is heated up and it gives off an electron. The electron flies across here and hits a metal target. And when it hits the metal target, an electron from an inner shell is knocked out and then an outer shell electron drops into that inner shell. And when it does that, it loses uh, energy and the energy is given off here and the energy will fly out through the body and hit on the other side of the body onto a little collecting device and that is how an x-ray is created. But you can see here this is a beam of radiation that flies through the body to create that and the radiation is dangerous. So one thing to remember about CT, it is just an x-ray and it is dangerous because it uses radiation that uh, causes harm and so that is one of the very big differences. Now an x-ray because the, the radiation flies through the body, will hit the body, and not all the beams will make it through. So, for example, if you have a very thick, dense bone, the electron beams will hit that bone and not make it through. They'll never hit the plate on the other side. So, they will show up as white. That's why bones are bright. And if you have air up here, uh, all the beams will make it through and hit the plate. So, if all the beams get through, it's really dark. If a few hit and go through, then it turns white. So, that's why x-ray looks like this. The most dense things typically are the ones that um, are whitest. The ones that absorb the x-ray beams the best are really white like this. Now you can, this is the x-ray, and the x-ray is very plain and simple, but now we're going to go to CT. So again, it's just an x-ray, and we're going to look at a CT scan. Now, CT, instead of just looking at the whole patient at one time, you're looking at slices through the patient. And when we see these slices, you can see several things. Here's the bone really bright back here in the back. We can see this is a kidney over here. Here's another kidney. You can see that there's a few different densities. One is air out here, black. You can see gray here. This is the muscles, soft tissue density. And you can see this is enhancing um, tissues. This is a kidney on the left, kidney on the right. And they've been given contrast. That's why it's so bright. And the stuff that's really light bulb bright back here, this is bone. So you just have a few densities. You have bone. Then you have soft tissue like this, like the muscles. Then you have fluid, and there's a little bit of fluid over here that's darker. And then you have fat, which is over here. This really dark gray stuff is fat. And of course, the last thing here is air. So you really have these five different densities. Now, earlier we talked about how we started with a single slice, and they went on to multiple slices. And so with the multiple slices, you can get these fast scan times, way better resolution. It's less uh, radiation, and it allows for really spectacular reformatted images. So this is some, uh, this is a 2D and 3D reconstructed images of the abdomen. So that little x-ray beam 
with that, they're able to create these amazing images. This is a view, we're looking at the, the abdomen straight on. This is right kidney, left kidney. This is the bones of the pelvis here. And this is the abdominal aorta. And you can take this and spin this in different directions. So it's pre pretty amazing the progress CT has made. Now with a really um, a multiple slices, like 250 slice, uh, 256 slice CT machines, you can get spectacular images. This is the heart, and you can reconstruct it in multiple planes and rotate things around. It's pretty dazzling. Now MRI is complicated. CT, remember we saw the other picture that uh, had one switch? It's basically an x-ray beam. MRI has a lot of switches. It's very, very complicated. And it's so complicated that I wouldn't worry, really worry about it. It's just probably enough to know that MRI uses a magnetic field, a really strong magnetic field, magnetic field you lay in, and it also uses radio waves, which are not harmful. Remember, the CT has waves, radiation that is harmful, ionizing radiation, whereas MRI is perfectly safe. It has just a magnetic field, which is not harmful, and you have radio waves, and it's able to create these spectacular images just from that. This is up in Maine where my brother used to live, and these are pictures by him. Now MRI can look very different. CT will always look the same. The bones will always be bright, fluid will always be dark, fat will always be super dark, soft tissues will always be gray. MRI though, we can have things look however they want to look. We can use different sequences where fluid over here is really bright, over here fluid is dark. We can have brain lesions show up as white specks over here and over here. They're not as well seen. We can have them not show up at all on this view here. So very different um, between the two modalities and how they, they look. So there's something called an open MRI and a closed MRI. So the typical closed MRI is like this. Looks like a CT at first glance, but again, the tube is a little more narrow and much longer. This is actually an old fashioned longer tube. And there's something called a low field MRI or open MRI. And these have a, a flat plate above and a flat plate behind. They're open around the sides. And this is an open MRI. Now, uh, high field MRI has more signal, uh, more power to it, rather. It has a magnetic field that's usually in the order of 1.5 Tesla. And the low field magnet has usually about a 0.2 or 0.3 Tesla. So much smaller, one fifth the amount of um, strength in the magnetic field for low field versus high field. Now, the more modern high fields these are wide. They have a wide bore like this instead of the slightly more narrow bore and they're not quite as long. They are starting to shorten them and so now it's not quite as claustrophobia producing as they used to be. Okay so that is the end of the lecture about CT versus MRI but just to make sure you're paying attention I have a test here for you. I want to see if you can tell the difference between CT and MRI at a quick glance which is a tall order. Even radiologists have to stop for a second and think wait a second what is this? So here we go, here's the test. This is a view of the left knee joint. Two of the images are an MRI, and one is a CT. I'll let you sweat for just a second here. See what you think. You got it? Okay, here it is. On this side, this is the CT scan, and you say, how do you know this is CT? It's because the bone is white, just like an X-ray. CT is just an X-ray. If you look over here, say, hey, that looks just like an X-ray. We have this white cortical bone. That's because the energy trying to pass through didn't make it through, it hit that dense bone and got stuck, so it's very white. You see these two little things here? These are pieces of metal. The metal is even more dense than bone, so it's also stopped the energy from getting through. So this is a CT scan. Now an MRI, MRI as we talked about can look bright or dark, it depends on the sequence. And so this is the same thing, but one's bright and one's dark. And also metal in a magnetic field gets distorted, it distorts the magnetic field locally, and you can see this metal, instead of being nice and round, is funny looking like that. It's called that metallic susceptibility artifact, localized distortion of the magnetic field. Another view of the brain, CT versus MRI. You can see this, this is a white skull, dense bone. This is a CT scan. Remember MRI, the skull or any bone is dark. So you look over here, the bone is dark and the sequences are different. Fluid can be bright or dark, whatever we want to make it. Here's a CT scan of the admin and a MRI of the admin. Glance at this and say, which is which? Aha, CT scan, bone is white. It's gotta be a CT scan. This is an MRI scan. Here's the right kidney, left kidney here. This is the temporal bones, the internal auditory canals. Now you're probably getting good at this. You look over here, hey, white bone. This is a CT scan. 
This is the MRI, just the opposite. Everything that it was white over here is dark and vice versa. Everything that's dark and gray is white over here. Almost like inverses of each other. So congratulations, you made it through. Hope you learned something interesting about CT versus MRI. And I want to say thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.